Seven Star Ice Terra Empoleon raids are almost here. And uh, this one shockingly looks like it could be a little difficult. Uh, it's going to be bulky. The fact that it gets competitive means that we cannot drop uh, stats at all without boosting its special attack to an even higher number than it already is. And the fact that it gets such a versatile moveset means that this one could be, uh, it could be a challenge. But definitely not because we've got a build already for this one that is absolutely going to tank uh, Empoleon and make this raid as easy as possible. And the best part is, is barring any surprise moves or strats, it should work really well solo. So today, let's take a look at Polyrath and how you can use this monster of a build to uh, just make Empoleon look so silly. So let's get to it. And in case you didn't believe me, here he is. This is Polyrath. Uh, so Polyrath is water and fighting type. Uh, and this one is actually going to have a fighting Terra, not a water water Terra, as it has right now. Okay. Uh, it is level 100 because we are going up against a seven star raid. So it has to be level 100. Use your XP candies for the love of God. And give this guy the metronome because metronome is going to make it do a lot of damage here. As for your EVs on Polyrath, uh, you're going to max out your EVs in your physical attack and your special defense on this one, uh, considering that Empoleon is very likely to be a special attacker here, especially with a competitor with its ability competitive, and give this guy an adamant mint so it has an adamant nature just to boost that attack a little bit higher. Uh, 317 is not necessarily like the highest overall attack we've ever seen, but it is still more than enough to do uh, plenty of damage to Empoleon. You also want to make sure that this one has the ability Water Absorb, okay? This is going to be fantastic for this, all right? Water Absorb is going to be great because that means if Empoleon does a uh, Hydro Pump or any other water type move on us, which it's guaranteed to have, uh, instead of hitting us, it is going to restore our HP instead of taking damage. Uh, meaning that we're going to take no damage from water type moves. We resist ice and steel type moves. And the only thing we really have to worry about is air slash. And because our special defense is so high, we take next to no damage to this. So move set on this guy is as follows. Uh, you're going to run taunt in slot one. Uh, this is in case Empoleon decides to use anything like uh, iron defense uh, or agility or anything like that. Turn one, we have the uh, option to be able to shut that down, especially considering we outspeed Empoleon with Polyrath. Uh, Belly Drum, of course, just like we've used on Iron Hands and Hariyama in the past. Uh, the nice thing about this setup is that Belly Drum uh, plus an Air Slash from Empoleon, we still survive that with 10, uh, like 10 HP, which is phenomenal. It means you're pretty much guaranteed a Belly Drum off turn one. And then after that, it's just a matter of using everybody's favorite reliable move, Drain Punch, to uh, not only deal just stupid amounts of damage with that metronome boost, uh, but also restore your HP back up to full basically every time as well. Uh, close Combat is in here because Close Combat uh, is kind of your finisher move. If you're running low on time on this one and you know that your raid's about done, you run in Close Combat one time, 120 base power uh, with the metronome, well, not with the metronome boost, with the stab boost from Terra fighting on this one uh, is going to be more than enough to be a finishing move and put down Empoleon from probably a good chunk of health. But don't take my word for this. Let's take a look at some damage calcs and see exactly how this stack stacks up against a uh, seven star Empoleon. All right, and here are the damage calcs for our Polyrath build. Uh, so for Polyrath, just like we had before, we have Fighting Terra on here, uh, 252 attack, 252 special defense, plus six from our belly drum, and uh, five uses for our metronome on Drain Punch at this point. Uh, this says a bomb of snow over here. It is not a bomb of snow, it's Empoleon. This calculator is messed up. So Terra Ice, uh, 9,270 HP, because that is 30 times HP uh, for the seven star. Uh, Adamant Nature, competitive, no held item, and it's healthy. Hydro Pump, Flash Cannon, Air Slash, and Ice Beam, because those are moves that it is likely to have, very likely to have. 
And just like that, you can see that uh, Polyrath with Drain Punch Terra Fighting is doing about 32%, and you're recovering 400% of the damage that you deal at this point. Okay? Uh, so, yeah, this, this is going to do a lot of damage here, and this is going to make sure that you basically never get KO'd. Uh, Hydro Pump does 0% because of Water Absorb on this one. Flash Cannon does 26% max. Air Slash does 33% max. And Ice Beam does 29% uh, max on this one, basically making it so that anything that is here is a guaranteed 3-hit KO. Okay? Guaranteed 3-hit KO uh, on Polyrath, which means that as long as you can get off Drain Punch and uh, Empoleon doesn't do things like you know, attack three times in a row, you're going to be fine with this one, okay? So, uh, yeah, Water Absorb Metronome Polyrath is just an absolute monster of a build to use against this, uh, and the fact that Air Slash doesn't do ridiculous amounts of damage to us is kind of crazy. But there you have it. Uh, that is Polyrath. That is what you were going to use to solo Seven Star Empoleon the Unrivaled, and it's a uh, Ice Terra type. Uh, this one could be either really simple or it could be really difficult. Uh, regardless of that, though, this is probably going to be a solid build for this. So again, Water Fighting, uh, Fighting Terra on this one, Level 100 Metronome, Max your EVs and your Physical Attack and Special Defense. Water Absorb, Taunt, Drain Punch, Belly Drum, and uh, Close Combat or some other move there. Close Combat doesn't have to be there. Adamant Nature and get out there and wreck this guy. Okay? Let me know down in the comments below what you guys plan on using to take on 7 Star Empoleon when it arrives tomorrow. And uh, yeah, as always, if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button, consider subscribing, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.